All right, been moving part two here. Finally come across a floor. It was completely rotten, would not stay with the bin. So there's nothing you can do about that. So we made a not very good X, but we just drilled two holes in here. Get your board, one guy on the outside, put two screws in there. And then right where it crosses up there, we run a couple of screws to hold it together. And then two screws and another two in the other side there to here. And it'll at least stay together for the ride home. And then it'll either get put on concrete or it'll get a new floor or a hopper bottom or something. So, okay. Okay, last tech tip here for the bin mover. We noticed when we let it down once in a while, there's a little bit of a gap right here. So what we want to try to do is disconnect the power and then we'll grab the remote. And then if you cycle the remote, Boom, it let the pressure off. I don't know why it does that, but uh, just something to keep an eye out for. Hey YouTube, last tech tip of the video. I'm just bringing this back to the rental yard here and I forgot to show and tell you that if you have a short bin, there is bolts, one there and one on the, either, on the other side. And this cradle moves all the way up to the top. Right, so if you have it too high, you're gonna hit the eave on your roof and crinkle in the eave. So you need to lower that. If it's too low, which most of the time, the doors of the bin are, are never that high, but it's just something that you need to move that up and down so that you're at the right height for your bin when you tip it over. Okay, take care.